These delicate, delicious sugar cookies are the perfect cookie for an afternoon tea, a bridal shower, a baby shower, or an afternoon luncheon with friends. They are so unique and a good recipe to know about when you want to serve something special. You will need to plan ahead and source some culinary lavender buds and allow a few hours of time for the dough to refrigerate, allowing the lavender to bloom in the cookie dough before baking. But it's all well worth the effort. To make these French lavender cookies, you'll need one stick of butter, one half cup of oil, one half cup of white sugar, one half cup of powdered sugar, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of cream of tartar, one half teaspoon of vanilla, one half teaspoon of lavender extract, although this is optional, but it's great if you have it, one half teaspoon of lemon zest, one egg, two cups of flour, and one tablespoon of dried culinary lavender buds. With your softened butter that you've beaten gently, add your one half cup of granulated sugar, and your one half cup of powdered sugar, and cream it together. Next, add your oil. And your final addition, a half a teaspoon of lavender extract if you're using extract. Add your egg and mix well. Now start adding your flour and mix it well until it's all incorporated into a good cookie dough. Once your flour has all incorporated is your tablespoon of culinary lavender buds stirred into the cookie dough. This cookie dough will then be covered and it needs to refrigerate for 4 to 24 hours before we bake them. Our cookie dough has been in the refrigerator for 24 hours and now I'm using a scoop. I'm making dough balls. One of the reasons you leave the cookie dough in the refrigerator overnight is so that it gets hard which makes it easier to work with and it also gives the lavender buds an opportunity to bloom and flavor the cookie dough. This recipe makes about three dozen cookies. I'm only doing two dozen today so I'm forming my leftover dough into a ball which I'll just put in a freezer bag and pop in the freezer and the next time I need a dozen cookies my dough is all ready and all I have to do is bake it. Next step is just using your hands, just take your dough balls and form them into nice smooth balls. I'm using a cookie press and you dip the press in water, then into the sugar, and then press your cookie. Into the water, into the sugar, press your cookie. You've preheated your oven to 375 and now the trays go into the oven for about 5 to 7 minutes. Our beautiful cookies are out of the oven and have cooled a little bit. Now just using a sieve and some powdered sugar, I'm going to give them a light dusting of powdered sugar before I put them on a plate. Lavender has its own distinctive taste in food. It's floral, minty, and woodsy. Lavender has been used to add unique flavors to food since the Middle Ages and is often added to herbs of Provence. This recipe is versatile and can be made without the lavender buds or extract and will still be a delicious, delicate cookie. Served crumbled with ice cream and a few lavender buds sprinkled on top, this makes a lovely light dessert. This recipe is a favorite go-to recipe when looking for a special cookie and dessert, and always a favorite.